Have you ever looked into the face of evil? Today, we're taking a horrifying journey into the depths of the worst of humanity. In the next few minutes, I'll uncover the terrifying backstories behind 25 seemingly innocent images. From heart-wrenching final photographs to snapshots of survivors or horrific events, and even the odd serial killer family photo, I'm Mike with List25, and here are 25 images with terrifying backstories. 25. A 29-story fall. This seemingly ordinary photo of a skydiver hides a tragic tale. Nathy Odinson, a seasoned daredevil with thousands of jumps under his belt, recently traveled to the bustling city of Pattaya, Thailand, where he attempted a death-defying base jump from a 29-story building. With a carefree, three, two, one, see ya, he leaped into the void. Tragically, his parachute failed to deploy. An investigation later revealed that his mini pilot chute became entangled in his harness, preventing it from opening. 24. What were you wearing? This innocent image of everyday clothing carries a powerful message. These garments represent the personal stories of survivors of sexual assault. Each piece, from the most casual jeans to a glamorous prom dress, challenges a harmful misconception that what someone was wearing can somehow justify or explain sexual violence. The What Were You Wearing exhibit at Texas A&M boldly confronts this myth giving a voice to survivors and promoting empathy and understanding. 23. When proposals go wrong. During a unique proposal in Tanzania, Stephen Weber, pictured here with his girlfriend Kinesha Antoine, tragically lost his life. Dreaming of a special moment, Stephen planned an underwater proposal at a luxurious resort. The image on the right shows him holding the actual message, ready to pop the question. However, Kinesha never got to give him an answer as Stephen drowned shortly after proposing. Tanzanian authorities conducted an autopsy on his body, but could not determine the cause of death. 22. Toxic Foam This surreal image captured the moment when hundreds of Hindu devotees gathered on the banks of the Yamuna River in India to celebrate a sacred festival in 2021. Hundreds of children played in the thick layer of toxic foam that covered the river's surface, a stark reminder of the environmental crisis facing the region. The Yamuna, once a revered river, today struggles to sustain life, a victim of industrial waste and inadequate sewage treatment. 21. Pisky. I apologize, this, this one's a doozy, and trust me, it is way worse than it sounds. You can't always trust what you see. Case in point, meet James Gilpin, a brilliant mind with a unique problem. He's a diabetic and he's turned his condition into a rather unusual business venture. You see, Gilpin has created a high-end single malt whiskey, but the main ingredient isn't barley nor corn. It's the sugar-rich urine of elderly diabetics, including his own grandma. So the next time you're enjoying a glass of something smooth, maybe look into its backstory first. 20. The Last Photograph David Alexander Johnston was a brilliant volcanologist with a passion for the Earth's fiery power. Captured in a moment of tranquility, his last photo is a total contradiction to the fate that awaited him. Just hours after this photo was taken, Johnston was stationed at an observation post near Mount St. Helens. His final words, Vancouver, Vancouver, this is it, echoed through the air as the volcano erupted with cataclysmic force. David died in the blast, and his body was never recovered. 19. A relaxing day at the Auschwitz death camp. The true horror of the story behind this image will never be in the public eye, but these laughing, carefree revelers hide a terrifying truth. The smiling faces belong to some of the men and women who were once part of the horrifying machinery of the Auschwitz death camp. This photo from the collection of an SS officer named Hooker shows SS officers, guards, and staff all caught in a moment of levity, seemingly worlds away from the horrors they committed. 18. Mark Chapman receiving an autograph from John Lennon. Just hours before he shot Lennon five times, Chapman asked Lennon to sign an album for him. The former Beatle complied. Strangely enough, during a radio interview, John Lennon was asked about his thoughts on how he might die. His prediction was chillingly accurate. 
I'll probably be killed by some crazy person. Chapman later said that John Lennon was very kind to him and that he killed him in a quest for glory. 17. Samantha Miller and Eric Hutchinson. This image shows a perfect moment frozen in time. A bride and groom, Samantha Miller and Eric Hutchinson, beaming with happiness, surrounded by their loved ones. A perfect picture of joy and celebration. Unfortunately, just moments after this photo was taken, a woman driving under the influence slammed into the back of the wedding party's golf cart on a South Carolina beach as they were leaving the reception. Samantha died at the scene. She was still wearing her wedding dress. 16. Franklin Delano Floyd and Suzanne Marie Savakis. Have you ever watched the Netflix documentary, The Girl in the Picture? It must be one of the most disturbing documentaries ever made. It covers the heart-wrenching story of a young woman, Suzanne Marie Savakis, who was kidnapped by a manipulative predator as a child, only to be groomed and abused throughout her life. This picture, which looks like a captured moment between a child and her parent, is actually a chilling snapshot of a life under siege. The man in the picture, Franklin Delano Floyd, is not the girl's biological father, but the predator who stole her identity and subjected her to a lifetime of abuse. 15. The Webster Sisters and Their Friend In this 2011 snapshot taken on a train, three girls, Essa Ricker and Kelsey Webster, both 15, and Kelsey's little sister Savannah, 13, are lost in the joy of the moment. They took a carefree selfie, a gust of wind playing with their hair, looking forward to lives filled with endless possibilities. What the girls didn't realize, however, was that another train was heading toward them from the opposite direction. None of them survived. 14. The Footsteps in the Snow Hermann Buhl was a mountaineering legend. In 1957, he was one of only a few climbers to have made it to the top of Broad Peak in Pakistan, a feat he achieved without any supplemental oxygen or porters. But fame and glory are often followed by tragedy. Just a few weeks later, while attempting the unclimbed Chogolisa, Buhl disappeared in a blinding snowstorm. This terrifying image captures the aftermath. Two sets of footprints etched into the snow, one trail leading back to safety, the other into the icy abyss. His body was never recovered. 13. The Fat Man Don't you just love how all these old photos look so innocent? This very casual photo is actually a preview of what would become a pivotal moment in the world's history. Harold Agnew, a key player in the Manhattan Project, is seen holding the compact but deadly heart of the Fat Man atomic bomb. Weighing a mere 14 pounds, this device was responsible for the devastation of Nagasaki and the subsequent surrender of Japan, marking the end of World War II. It's hard to believe that something that small held such destructive power. 12. The Survivors This photo looks like a typical group shot, a moment of shared joy, but appearances can be deceiving. These are survivors of the infamous Uruguayan Air Force Flight 571. Trapped in the unforgiving Andes for 72 days, they faced a choice no human should ever have to make. To survive, they turned to cannibalism. The smiles we see are a mask for the horrors they endured. It's almost as if their collective spirit is trying to defy the darkness, and yet the human spine in the background ruins the illusion of normalcy, exposing the true price of their survival. 11. The Millionaire and the Little Person In 1933, a surreal moment was captured during a Senate Banking and Currency Committee hearing. J.P. Morgan, a central figure in American finance, was photographed with a circus performer named Lia Graff. The bizarre publicity stunt was orchestrated by a desperate reporter and was completely out of place once you consider the incredibly serious nature of the proceedings. To make matters even worse, Graff's brief moment of fame was followed by a brutal ordeal. She was unable to cope with the public attention and returned to her native Germany where she was detained and deported to Auschwitz due to her Jewish heritage, where she died with the rest of her family. 10. The Hartley Violin Violins are renowned for their longevity, with some masterpieces reaching prices of millions of dollars. Yet none can match the historical significance of this particular instrument. Said to be played by Wallace Hartley as the Titanic met its icy fate, the instrument is a horrific reminder of the final moments aboard the doomed ship. Its survival and journey, 
from the icy waters of the Atlantic to the Titanic Museum in Tennessee, is as extraordinary as the disaster itself. 9. Howard Ashman and Alan Menken Howard Ashman was the mastermind behind Disney's Golden Age. Aladdin, Beauty and the Beast, Little Shop of Horrors, and The Little Mermaid are just some of the movies he was involved in. This picture shows him in the spotlight, a triumphant Oscar winner. But behind the smile lies a heartbreaking truth. While creating magic for millions, Ashman was battling a silent killer, AIDS. This photo, taken at the peak of his career, foreshadows a tragic end. Despite his deteriorating health, Ashman poured his heart and soul into transforming Disney and left an enduring legacy that continues to captivate audiences today. 8. Eyes of Hate Is this the face of evil? This image is much more than just a photograph. It's a window into the soul of a monster. Goebbels, the architect of Nazi propaganda, was captured in a moment of raw, unfiltered malevolence. His body language, tense, guarded, and predatory, mirroring the darkness within. It's a reminder that even the most meticulously created public image can be shattered by a single revealing snapshot. 7. The Menendez Brothers Mark Jackson's 1990 NBA Hoops card is more than just a collectible, it also comes with two killers. Can you spot them? Among the cheering crowd are two inconspicuous figures, Lyle and Eric Menendez. The brothers, infamous for the brutal murder of their parents, were present at the game their attendance funded by the ill-gotten wealth from the crime. The two brothers have been in prison since 1990 and are still serving out their lifelong sentences despite numerous appeals and applications for retrials. 6. Bud Dwyer You've probably seen a lot of press conferences, but none would ever be as shocking as this one. In 1986, Pennsylvania State Treasurer Bud Dwyer was found guilty of bribery and faced a harsh prison sentence. In response, he decided to organize a live press conference. But instead of delivering a heartfelt plea, he pulled out a gun and ended his life on live television. This photo captures the terrifying moment just before the unthinkable happened. Dwyer's taking of his own life not only sent shockwaves through the nation, but also forced news outlets to rethink how they cover live events. 5. Two guys going for a coffee. One of these two men, casually strolling down the street, is actually Salah Abdeslam. Who, you might ask? Abdeslam used to be Europe's most wanted man and was one of 10 men, and the only survivor, involved in the 2015 Paris attacks. Just one day after the devastating attacks, Abdeslam was hiding in plain sight, discussing the horrific events with a friend over coffee. His luck ran out in March 2016 when a shootout with Belgian police brought his reign of terror to an end. Found guilty of murder, he was handed the maximum sentence, life in prison. Four. A final performance. Rosalina Chelino Sanchez Feliz was a legendary Mexican singer-songwriter, often referred to as El Rey del Corrido, the King of Corridos. His music often reflected the realities of life in his region, including poverty, crime, and drug trafficking. This image, taken shortly before his assassination, shows him reading what many believe to be his death note that was handed to him by an audience member. Later that same night, a group of armed men in black Chevy Suburbans intercepted Sanchez and his entourage. Posing as state police officers, they coerced him into one of their vehicles. The following morning, his lifeless body was discovered in an irrigation canal. 3. John Edward Robinson and his family If you thought this photo depicted just a regular, loving family of six, well, you would be sorely mistaken. The smiling man at its center is John Edward Robinson, a convicted serial killer. The little baby is Tiffany Stasi, the daughter of a woman Robinson murdered just one day earlier. Robinson told everyone the little girl was adopted and incorporated her into the family. This deception would endure for 15 years before the truth finally came out. Robinson is currently on death row. 2. The Whitakers The smiling woman and two boys pictured here are the Whitakers, a family seemingly untouched by tragedy. But all of that changed on December 10th, 2003, only an hour or so after this photo was taken when the illusion was shattered. A home invasion turned into a massacre, claiming the lives of the mother and the younger son. The surviving father would later uncover a horrifying truth. The mastermind behind the killings was Bart Whitaker, the surviving son. Bart had orchestrated the murders to inherit his family's fortune. 
He was found guilty and initially sentenced to death, but his punishment was later commuted to life imprisonment. 1. Genie's Photo This might be one of the saddest pictures you will ever see. The innocent-looking child, with eyes that hold a mixture of curiosity and vulnerability, is Jeannie Wiley, a famous wild child. Discovered at the age of 13, Jeannie had spent her entire life confined to a small room, deprived of human contact and basic necessities. Her case raised profound questions about human development and the impact of extreme neglect on the human brain. Despite initial progress made during Jeannie's stay at various hospitals and psychologists' homes, her journey was fraught with setbacks, and her subsequent placements in foster care severely undermined her progress. She was eventually returned to the hospital. Today, Jeannie's whereabouts are unknown. If she is alive, she would be between 66 and 67 years old and living as a ward of the state in an adult care facility. And, well, that's it for today, and whew, not a moment too soon. If you made it this far, I commend your bravery. This was definitely a hard one. But if you're craving more of the creepy and unexplained, you'd take a look at the video we did a while ago on creepy things caught on live streams, where I delved into bizarre interviews, ghostly encounters, and even a mysterious voice heard during a live and very famous funeral. Interested? Well, just click on the link right here.